Have you ever thought the Bentley Continental GT Convertible has life a little bit too easy in the super luxury soft top sector? Well, Mercedes has, which is why it's created the S-Class Cabriolet. It measures more than five meters in length, weighs more than two tons, and will seat four adults in leather-lined opulence. So it has a lot of presence, but not in a brash, nouveau riche kind of way. That said, if you do like a little bit of bling, then I don't think it gets much glitzier than these Swarovski encrusted LED headlights, which are an optional extra. Should distinguished gentlemen and women need to ask, the 4.6 litre V8 that's in this S500 accelerates from rest to 62 miles an hour in 4.6 seconds and on to a top speed of 155 miles an hour. But the thing is, you'll feel nothing but cosseted and comfortable thanks to a nine speed automatic gearbox, double glazing all round and a multi-layered fabric roof. When that roof unfurls, it takes just 20 seconds at speeds of up to 37 miles an hour. And even then, passengers are gonna be warm and comfortable, thanks to an air cap system that comes up just proud of this windscreen, as well as Mercedes air scarf, which blows hot air all around your head, neck, and shoulders. Prices are expected to start in the region of 120,000 pounds when it goes on sale in the spring. But don't go thinking that this is the only competitor that Bentley has to worry about. If the Mercedes S-Class Cabriolet is too common for you, then how about this? The new Rolls-Royce Dawn. This is the newest addition to Roller's lineup, and it's got all the styling cues that we've come to expect from BMW's revamped Rolls-Royce. It's got this long, imposing bonnet, and the Spirit of Ecstasy sits on top of that vast neoclassical grille. It's also got this rising shoulder line, and unusually for a Cabriolet, it looks just as good with the roof up and down. Naturally, the interior is just as opulent. It eschews the complex gadgetry that other manufacturers associate with luxury in favour of pure, undiluted quality. There's a huge amount of space in there as well. With most four-seat cabriolets, you get a two plus two, which means you get plenty of space in the front two seats, but in the back, there's no room for anyone with actual human legs to fit. Not so this car. There's almost more space in the back than there is in the front. All the chairs are swathed in the finest bull hides and the carpets are sheep's wool that you can sink your feet into. Under the bonnet is the familiar twin-turbo 6.6 litre V12 that we've already seen in the Ghost and the Wraith. And performance is said to be ample, while power is sufficient. But what this car really trades on is its refinement. Rolls-Royce says that with the roof up or down, it's the quietest drop head on the market. And with their recent records, who are we to disbelieve them? So it's decision time. Which is your favorite? The regal Rolls-Royce Dawn or the wafty Mercedes S-Class Cabriolet? Vote for your favorites in the comments below.